Hi everyone and welcome along to today's video. So today we're looking at items that as soon as you touch them or should we say turn them leak. You know the kind of things I mean like this one the main one for instance stop cock you turn it off turn it back on and it leaks out of the gland tap. Yeah. The other one garden hose tap you, again you turn it on and turn it off again and it's leaking out of the gland nut yeah. also gate valve there's another gland nut you undo that one turn it off again and it starts dripping out of here yeah lastly the most common one of all the radiator valve and what's in common the gland nut yeah <laughs> so that is a common piece of equipment from plumbing is a kind of weak link that is always leaking as soon as you turn the handle. Luckily, it's easily solved, so let me show you. Yes, fortunately, the answer is very simple. Anyone can do it really easy. So you've got a drip coming out of here, out of the gland nut there, okay, dripping down. You've turned the stop clock and turned it back on and find that that's where the drip is occurring. So turn it fully on, make sure it's right on. Just gives you lots of room here to do it up. It'll be dripping, don't worry about it. Get yourself a spanner. Okay, get it there, get the spanner on there. And nine times out of 10, it only needs tightening up. So just nip it around like so. See that spanner going around on that nut there. Okay, and just give it a little nip. Now not too much, enough so it stops the leak. But it would just feel stiffer to turn, which is how it should be. It shouldn't just spin round loose. It should be just tight and firm. You'll feel that the gland is a firmer turn on that spindle there. It's holding it nice and solid. And that's how it should be. And that will apply to all the other items. The same with the gate valve, same gland nut, the same with our outside tap, same thing and obviously a radiator valve same thing so that one fix fixes all those items there are more items with gland nuts on them old-fashioned taps the old brass ones that look uh, antique they've got little gland nuts on the top so if you get a leak out of the top of one of those you know what to do and sometimes the gate valves either side of central heating pump they don't have handles on them but they again have a gland nut that can leak so you say what about I've tightened this right up and it's still leaking and that goes for on the radiator valve or the, the outside tap whatever you've gone as far as you can go and it's still a bit loose and it's still leaking this is where we repack the gland at the stopcock so leave your stopcock rad valve whatever it is fully on just to give you plenty of room to get up and down here just span it on undo it okay now it's leaking it won't leak much more than it is already it won't suddenly spurt out of there when you undo that nut all right it'll just just leak a little bit more it's just a small towels or something under it don't need too much and that leaves you with this arrangement here and you can see this is obviously a new stopcock so this is not going to leak <laughs> i'm just using it to demonstrate but what we can do is repack that in there this is quite simple we've got a bit of ptfe tape this is the stuff here okay just pull off about eight to ten inches snap it off and twist it together just twist it round like so twist it all in okay make it like a piece of string now if you've got some old wax and string uh, that's even better if you've got some old-fashioned string and a piece of wax you can do the same thing and it will work just as good if not better if you've got hemp Again, a bit of boss white along the hemp and thread that in and that works even better than this But most people have this and it costs about 20p for a reel of this tape, doesn't it? So it's it's uh, a simple thing to do So just pull your your gland nut back up the thread there like so and wind this around the end of it there Okay, this is a three-quarter stopcock. So usually um, it'll, This will be enough for a half inch one, but I'm just showing you that's all just so you get the idea and there we are, we wind that round there like so. Okay, so it's uh, right round the spindle. Not too tightly, okay? Because what we're gonna do then is we're gonna push this in there. You can push that 
and force it in that far and that's in that much now I don't know if you can see it there okay what you can do then you can push it over your nails if you can as far as you can then we get a little screwdriver I'm going to get this little electric one here to push it in the rest of the way so we kind of use that to push it right around like so okay I mean, this is called repacking the, the gland and this applies as I say to all those other items as well just thread it all in, don't matter if it little bit sticks out get it all in there now if you put too much in uh, you won't get this nut started so you know you've overdone it okay too little and it will still leak okay so let's use my rough amendment there of about eight to ten inches get your nut and push it in there and start it up okay once it's started like so same thing as before with tightening it spanner on okay and just nip it until it feels yeah it's getting tightish but not too tight because you want to be able to turn it that's why we leave it on position it's easy then to turn it and you're you're soon know if it's leaking or not just turn it on and off a few times if it needs a little bit more if it looks gone a little bit loose just give it a tad more like so and then try it and keep trying it a couple of times it should be nice and dry just to make sure that it's okay and that will be a simple easy job so all those items are simple easy fix I hope that helps you out everyone okay all my videos, the usual place, you know where to go. Derrick and 33. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.